recovery from inverted. That's an exercise I do with my students. We pull up, we do one and a half rolls to invert it. There's one and a half. We stop it, and now to recover, you just unload and roll the wings level. You don't lose any altitude, and you don't build up excessive speed. If you try, however, to do it by pulling through, watch what happens. We're at 5,000 feet, 125 knots. So I'm going to roll us. One, two, and now I'm going to try to pull through. i got to pull the power way off, and i got to pull hard. i got to pull very hard. But we're 1,000 feet, 140 knots at the bottom, but that's because I pulled, I pulled about four and a half, five feet there. 5,000 feet, 125 knots. So I'm going to roll us. One, two, and now I'm going to try to pull through. I've got to pull the power way off, and I've got to pull hard. I've got to pull very hard. Not a maneuver you'd want to try to do in a... a typical uh, normal category airplane, especially low to the ground. So again, the drill is, if you find yourself overbanked or inverted, you want to roll wings level the shortest way and then recover. That saves you uh, altitude and airspeed. So here's the maneuver again. 120 knots, 4,500. So we go up and we roll, just like we got caught in wing turbulence, we're upside down, find the horizon, unload, roll wings level. That's why we do aileron rolls for practice to get comfortable with that sight picture.